May God bless you all abundantly and welcome to the fifth, the moment of faith service. We are here online, but we are certain that God is going to manifest His power in your life in the same way as if you were here in the church with us. We are doing this chain of prayer for you who are desperate in need of help. You who are sick, you who have a family member who needs a miracle. We are using our faith together because by faith, everything is possible. Right in the beginning of the meeting, before we do the prayer, what I'm going to ask you to do is let's give this opportunity to as many people as possible. So if you can, very quickly, go there on your device. You are watching us from Facebook and share this link now because in a few minutes, we are going to be calling upon God on behalf of those who are suffering. Only invite people who are suffering. People who are well, uh, praise God for them. But we are here to help those who are in need, those who are desperate, those who have nobody else for them. You know a person like this, who have an addiction, who is depressed, who is suicidal. A person who is sick, a person who have been told by doctors that there is no way out. There is a way out. By the power of God and faith in this word, there is a way out. It's impossible for us to lose when we put our faith on the word of the living God. Actually, what it says here is very very interesting. And if you, by the way, if you have already testimonies from the previous week, type that on the chat as well. Share what God has been doing in your life, in your family. You who are doing this chain of prayer, let us know how God is already answering you. The signs that you are already seeing from the prayers we do here every week online. It says here like this. Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years, how long have you been suffering for? How long? This woman was suffering for 12 years. The same problem for 12 years. Who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any. Came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of, flow of blood stopped. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes throng and press you, and you say, who touched me? But Jesus said, somebody touched me, for I perceive the power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. So she wasn't healed because she deserved. She wasn't healed because she was a good woman. She wasn't healed because, you know, she was a charitable person. She was healed because of her faith. It doesn't matter who you are, what you have done. It doesn't matter where you have been. It doesn't matter. A moment of faith can transform your life. The multitude was touching Jesus, but Jesus noticed that someone touched him differently. Because when you touch Jesus with faith, power comes out of him and solves the problem that nobody else could solve. All the money that she had could not buy her healing. She used her money Spending on the best doctors and no doctors could help her. But when she took a decision to act her faith and touch Jesus, even though she never spoke to Jesus, she never exchanged a word with Jesus, but she acted her faith and touching his garment, she brought a power. She provoked the miracle. And perhaps you've been suffering for 12 years and even more. Perhaps you are diagnosed with Deep depression. The worst kind of depression. You are on antidepressives every day. But the antidepressives is, is having side effects. And you are not having a normal life. You control the addiction. You control the panic attack. You control the anxiety with tablets. But then you develop other problems. You don't have a normal life. That's not the life that God wants you to have. You went to the best specialist and they told you the problem you have. And they are treating the problem. They are easing the pain. But they can't solve the problem. 
God doesn't want you to manage a problem. God wants you to solve the problem. You who are tired of pain, tired of going from place to place looking for help and you never find, you are going to find help here today. Because if you put your faith upon the word of God, it doesn't matter who you are and if you depend, if you, if you deserve, if you don't deserve. Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for you? He overcame for you. Do you believe that he resurrected because of you? Do you? Do you believe that Jesus overcame? So you are going to overcome as well. There is no problem. There is no evil that can stay in the life of someone whose faith is upon the word of the living God. We are going to prepare ourselves for the prayer. I invite you now to stand up. Because we are going to use our faith. And when we use our faith, you cannot be there in your comfort zone. We need to prepare ourselves. So stand up. Stand up. And be ready for the moment of prayer. If possible, I want you to lay your hand over the place that represents your sickness. Look at me. We are going to pray soon. We are going to be laying our hands on the place that represents the disease. Very, pay attention. Because when we call upon God, the hands that you are going to lay upon you will represent His. I can't lay my hands on you. Pastor Guilherme cannot lay his hands on you. We can't physically go there, lay our hands, because Jesus said, you're going to lay hands on the sick, and the sick will recover. But we cannot lay hands on you physically now because of the lockdown. But our word is the word of God, and the word is enough. So when you touch your body, we will be the hand of God touching you. We've been doing this every week. And actually, we've been having testimonies. Yes, Pastor. We have some testimonies there, right? All, all kinds of problems we have been receiving people sending for us to write down in the book. And then, during the service, what we are showing here to you are these testimonies. We have here people who have had a left knee pain. Her name was Deborah, And she is now healed from this left knee pain. Another one had a pain in her head. And she's healed. Her name is Sueta Kumar. Amuka had a, a sore back in the right side, but the pain is no longer there. Alberta had a tightness in her chest, but now it's no longer there. Randir was healed from neck pain. Vidya was healed from chest pain. So these are the proofs that the miracle happens because the power of God is the same today. If you only believe, now the miracle will happen in your life. And now is the time for us to call the power of God upon your life. Jesus is the same today, and he's going to manifest his power in you. Close your eyes and lay your hands over there. The, the place that represents the problem you are fighting for. If you are fighting a mental illness, what classifies as mental illness, you lay your hands over your head. If you are praying for someone from your family, you are well, but there is a family member who is not well. So imagine that you are with a person. So you're going to lay your hands over your body on the place where the person is sick. Head, shoulders, back, representing that is your hand upon that person. And close your eyes. My Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we are uniting our faith because you are the healer. These people who are connected with us today have nobody else to rely on. Because they have been going to the doctors, psychologists, therapists. They have been going to the best places they can find. But look, they are still suffering. They've been spending their money. They've been investing what they have and what they don't have. Trying to solve a health problem in their lives or even in the family. But year after year, the disease insists in developing, in staying. This person who is carrying a depression, anxiety, panic attacks. They feel so miserable. And then they go to the doctors and all they need to hear is... Take this tablet. Take this tablet. Take this tablet. So how can this be? They are going to be managing their problems for the rest of their lives. That's not fair. 
It's not fair, my God. They were not born like this. You didn't create them like this. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, he stretch out your hands today, my God, to remove the pain, the pain, the agony, the suffering of this person who have a health condition. This person who has been struggling for so many years. They were supposed to have a perfect life. They were supposed to be at the top. But because of this health condition, they lost opportunities. Because of the health condition, they had problems in their family, in their finances. One problem bringing the other. And this person's life is becoming miserable. But you are the healer. Remove the shame from this person, my father. Ah, my God, you know how much pain this person feels because of this problem. And it is not fair for this person to be a slave of this infirmity anymore. It's not fair for this person to believe in a great God and their life is remain the same. We believe in you, my God, who said that by your stripes we are healed. So there must be healing. If you said that we are healed, we are healed in period so there must be the manifestation of your power so my God visit now each person, each family member, person by person body by body and touch their lives let your power enter this person's body now and if there is a spirit of sickness we order you now we order you now, myself and all the 40 men and women of God, calling upon God on behalf of this person. Authority was given to us. So we stretch out our hands now towards the people. And we command you, a spirit of depression, come out of this person's life. A spirit of anxiety, panic attacks, come out of this person's life. The spirit of incurable disease, a spirit of cancer, a spirit of HIV, a spirit of lupus, a spirit that is destroying this person's lungs with asthma, infections, the spirit that destroys this person's health. Get out of this person's body. We command you. We've got authority over you, disease. We command you now, this body that can't move because of stroke, be restored now. Be restored now, body. We command all the infirmities from the joints, from the muscles, from the skin, right now from the blood. Get out of this person's life. All the diseases, it doesn't matter how it is called. It doesn't matter whatever name science gave you in the name of Jesus. Live this person's life now and come back no more. As we stretch out our hands, we send healing to you. We send good health to your body. Be completely healed. And the spirit of addiction, the spirit of mental illness, the spirit of disease and sickness and pain cannot stay. So be entirely healed by the power of the living God. And you who believe, you can say Amen. Amen. Open your eyes now. Look at me and receive the healing of God. I want you to display myself and all the four, uh, at least a, a board with some of them. I want the, the four men and women of God to be as well or sharing a screen with us, if possible. Because what we have, we give you. Look at us. Look at your device now. What we have, we give you. The spirit who is in us visits you now in your house, in the hospital. Don't be afraid anymore. Because the same spirit who possessed us goes in your house, in your, in your, in your place now and gives you healing. Receive divine healing. He is a healer. He, does, he never lies. It doesn't matter what people told you. What God says is what matters. So receive the divine healing. 
be healthy. Say, I am healed. Say, stronger. I am healed. It's not strong enough. Say, I am healed. Do you really believe in this? In the name of Jesus, you are going to give a great testimony. The next time you go back to your doctor, the same doctor who found the problem, he is going to be shocked. Be prepared. Because he's going to say, I don't know what you did, but keep doing it. He's going to say, what is going on? The cancer is gone. The cancer disappeared. What is happening with you? And you are going to tell him, my God has done this. The Lord Jesus has healed me. Be prepared. Because great will be the testimony that you are going to give. Actually, we have a testimony we want to play for you. Now pay attention. Because when God works the healing, the healing of God <laughs> comes and he glorifies his name through the testimony. Before coming to the church, my, my life is really bad. I have depression, health problem, children problem. I have a lot in my life. I have pain like uh, 11 years. I go many doctor, many doctor. Bondi Hospital, Runwick Hospital, St. Vincent Hospital, Westmead, Blacktown, Mandroot. All these things, I have a lot of extra I done, but it's nothing there. But I just feel pain worse in my right side to my stomach. But the doctor say it's nothing there. I saw a specialist, three of specialists, he said nothing there. But I still, like, uh, the pain is worse. Like all my right side, from the head to my toe, down. But I have a lot of medication to change, medication to medication, but it doesn't help me. I used to have a spiritual problem. It's a nightmare, like I couldn't sleep well. Sometimes, like uh, someone come under my bed, they shake my bed. When I cry, I can't hear my voice, but the my children or my mom, she can hear my voice. When I just open my eyes, my body all I'm shaking. Sometimes when I work, working in the street, like someone called my name, but I can't, I couldn't see. Sometimes I just went to the doctor and then I just explained to the doctor. I have a lot of headache, like migraines. Even they give me different medication for my migraines. When I'm angry, sometimes I just go in my room just to sleep. I don't want to talk to anyone. I just go in my room. My mom, cousin, she the one, she the one find the church. When the pastor start the service, he asked, what's your problem? I just told him I have problem with my right um, side. After prayer, I, I just find, um, I find the, uh, the, the pain disappear. Going to the church, I heard about the Holy Spirit and I continue to pray, to asking God for all. The pastor said, if you want Holy Spirit, forgive everyone, hate you or you hate people. And then I forgive everyone. Pastor said, preaching, he said, if you really want Holy Spirit, you have to sacrifice. You have to let everything go. I sacrifice physically, financially, spiritually. I come three times a week. Uh, after receive the Holy Spirit, I'm happy inside me. I don't have anger problem. I don't have any issue. I don't have anything. Thinking like before, I don't have this one. Yeah, I'm happy inside. Inside me, because I have Holy Spirit, I'm happy. You could see how God works miracle. And pay attention. I believe so much in the prayer that we have done. That is impossible, impossible, impossible that we don't have testimonies after this prayer. I am sure that you who are moving about now, you are feeling lighter. You who are having pain in your body and now you are much better. I'm sure there are people with testimonies. Look, I want you to share with us. Because God, he does the miracle. The miracle is done. Actually, he did the miracle on the cross. 
I want to hear your story. So very quickly now, type there on the chat, very quickly, what God has done for you in this morning. Many things are going to happen along the way, along the chain of prayer. But there are people, I know there are people that can see the difference now. And there is no small testimony. I want you to share now. Now, for us to read here in the program what difference you can see after the prayer that we have said in the beginning. Because it's impossible, Pastor Guilherme, that we are using our faith and God doesn't honor. Exactly, Pastor Miguel. And even more, my dear friend, you have to understand the miracle happens for you to have a testimony. Not for you only to feel better, because your testimony is what glorifies God and is going to save other people who are also suffering. So send to us your testimony and remain firm in your chain of prayer. If it's seven weeks, go until the end. What makes the difference, what causes the miracle to happen is your perseverance. Because, for example, when you have a, 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 a problem that you're going through and you are delivered from that problem, you're going to have other problems as well after that. And what is going to guarantee that problem after problem you're going to overcome? The process, the work that God is performing in your life. He's performing a work. He, this work doesn't be begin in one service and end in the same service. He's performing this work. That's why you need to be firm in the weeks every Saturday connected with us 11 a.m. live and week after week. This work that God has begun in your life is going to be perfected. Lay your hands over your head once again. I want to say another prayer for you. I want to say another prayer. Lay your hands, both of your hands over your head. Go ahead. Do as I say. Because in the name of the Lord Jesus. If there is a spirit. Who blocks this person from believing. If the root of this person's life is not only physical. But is also spiritual. You spirit who blocks this person's mind. You spirit of doubt. Spirit of doubt, spirit of fear. Reason why this person is struggled to believe in what God says. You are the spirit of doubt that neutralizes this person's faith. I command you now. Release this person's head. Release this person's soul. Release this person's body. And once and for all. In the name of Jesus, get out of this life. Be set free. In Jesus' name. Jesus taught us. Now you can look at us again. Jesus taught us that if our faith is as small as a grain of mustard seed. But has no doubt. It can move mountains. Can you imagine that? You don't need to have a big faith. You need to act the little faith you have. You have to put your little faith in action. And when you persevere, you are showing God your faith. When you persist, you are showing God your faith. When you pray, when you fight against the problem, you are showing God your faith. So your faith has to be in action. Your faith cannot be kept in you. So remember, you don't need a big faith to see a miracle. You need to put the little faith you have into action. That's what matters. A big faith without brings no profit whatsoever. But a little faith in action brings the impossible to become possible. Pastor Guilherme, do we have testimonies? We do, Pastor Miguel. Great testimonies here. One of them is that Rukmani said that her leg pain is gone right now. She had just received the miracle. Abu Khan is feeling well. Dana, she says, I have had pneumonia for almost seven months. I was still coughing when I went to bed last night. My nephew and I have been using the water for the past few weeks, and today I have no cough. I feel a great deal better. Zion Chris says, tightness in the chest. I burp a lot. I now feel light, thanks to the one who heals. My daughter's finger was fractured, but after prayer, it was slowly healing. And also, 
in Joe, in Joe Creedy, she says, I had back pain, I don't feel it anymore. Many testimonies, Pastor. Fadim Yulak says, I had neck pain, <laughs> I am now healed. Madhu says, I was feeling dizzy, but no more dizziness. You all see, all testimonies and, from now. <laughs> and I have to be asking, two eyes, look. I knew there were testimonies. I know there are testimonies. Because the God of the Bible is alive. I know the testimonies are there. And much more is going to happen. When you keep using your faith. That's why. Choose to believe in what God says. Not in what people say. Not in what the circumstances says. If you haven't yet sent us your name. Your problem and your postcode. Or your family member. For us to be praying for you. Send as soon as possible for us to include in the, in the book of Acts 29. Because your problems will become testimonies. In the moment of faith, your problems will become testimonies. Even after this program, when you have a testimony, share. Learn this. When you have good news, share. We are very quick to speak what is bad. But when the good news comes, you want to keep for yourself. Oh, I'm shy. Don't be shy. Glorify God. Glorify God with your story. Because your testimony is the living proof that God is the same today. Actually, I was reading something here that I want to share with you by the end of this meeting. Reminding you that tomorrow, 9.30 9 in the morning, we are going to be doing the second special prayer for the healing of the family. 9.30 in the morning in our YouTube channel and also on Facebook and also by Zoom conference. We have three ways for you to watch our service. And we are going to be doing the second strong prayer of the healing of the family. There are certain things that only God can do in the family. And we have to do our part to call God's attention. So what you're going to do, you're going to organize your family in your living room. Put the, the service to play there. Your whole family will be part of this prayer. And you are going to receive the benefit of that. Because one word God gives is enough. Like this meeting here. One moment of faith is enough to give a miracle to a person. And one word God speaks is enough to transform a person's life. Jesus once he said, look at the guidance of the Holy Spirit. He said, every kingdom... Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And a house divided against a house falls. Look how interesting. The curses that we see happening in the world nowadays. All the curses that we see happening. They only exist because one day man chose to divide himself from God. Because as long as man and God were in harmony, as long as man and God were one, when man was obeying God, when they were one, there was no sickness, there was no death, there was no curse. There was no, the evil could not touch man. Because man was under God's protection. All the disgrace, all the problems, all the curses that we see happen in the world nowadays. Is due to the decision of man to go away from God. To do what the heart says. They chose to follow their feelings, to follow their heart. So we see all the problems happen. Death came to existence, sickness, curses. That's why the Lord Jesus came to reconcile us back with God. So there is no religion that reconciles a person with God. There is no religion that can reconcile a person with God. The only way for you to reconcile, to reconnect with God, is through the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way. 
if you like it or not, if you believe it or not, if you agree with it or not, doesn't change the truth. The only way to reconcile with God is through Jesus. So if you learn the word of God and by choice you choose not to surrender your life to Jesus, you are choosing to be apart from God. That's why he says every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. It's impossible for you to have peace, enjoy life, overcome if you are apart from Jesus. But the moment that you take a decision to repent of your sins and reconcile with Jesus and take a decision to obey his voice. So because this kingdom is now this united, this house is united, Jesus will take care of you. So consider your ways. Consider your life. Use your faith not only to overcome the problems. But use your faith in the most intelligent way. Become one with Jesus. Because when you become one with Jesus, He transforms your life. As long as you are divided from Jesus. Ah, but I'm a Christian. I go to church. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about becoming one with Jesus. Really surrendering your life to Jesus. Because the moment you do that, He will be responsible for your life. I want to say the final prayer for us to conclude the program. Do we have more testimonies, Pastor? We have Guilherme? a strong one that, uh, that strengthens, that potentializes the importance of this person being strong in their chain of prayer. Uh, it's Randir's wife, Vidya. She says, I testify for God's glory that from the first Saturday we have started this chain of prayer. I have noticed that I feel more energetic, strong and healthy. On the same Saturday, I was healed from very sore arms. I went for my very first dose of COVID vaccine. While soreness after the vaccine is normal, I had no other pain in my arms thereafter. Actually, I have been doing much more activities during the last few weeks. Thanks, God. You see how God works, Pastor Guilherme. And yes, you Pastor. who are watching, us, the 40 men and women of God connected with us, you see how the perseverance, the persistence is important. So take this step. Reconcile with God. God is showing you His power. Not only for you to stop there. He's showing you His power because He wants you to see. He is God. He is the same, and he wants to save your soul. So as long as you are away from him, you are vulnerable. But when you reconnect with him, you are under his responsibility. He will take care of you. He will save your soul, and he will take care of you while you are here. Close your eyes. Let's pray. My Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all that you have given us through the moment of faith. And what I ask you now is for you to give this person strength and courage to obey your voice. Because when we obey what you say, we are going to see what you promised. We are not here with emotional prayers or just speaking for the sake of praying. We know that for us to reap, we have to sow. We know that we have to act accordingly. So help this person to reconnect with you. Receive from God strength and courage to obey His voice. Because when you take such a step and you become one with God, God will be responsible for taking care of you. So be a blessing today, tomorrow, and forevermore. And you who believe and agree, you can say, Amen. Well, we come to the end of the fifth day of the chain of prayer. And next week, we are going to have more testimonies. We are going to glorify God more. And you are going to grow in your faith as you are reconciling with Jesus. Don't forget to share this program. We are going to end the program now. But before you disconnect, share. A actually, we are here together now. Go there now. Let me see if we can get... We have a 6 to 1 connection at the moment. Let's, let's see if we can get more than 60 shares. Go ahead. Share there. 
Let me see here the number of shares going up. Let's save souls. Let's allow more people all over this country to access this meeting. Give this. This is an offering that you are going to give to the Lord Jesus. Share this video. Can Jesus count on you? Go ahead. Let's share. Let's go ahead. Let's, let's spread this. Let's pay back. Let's pay back. The devil has to get a payback. Let's pay back now. He's, he's been attacking us so much. We are going to pay back. We are going to save souls. Let's go there. Everyone sharing. The 40 and the men and women of God sharing. The people watching us sharing. Let's do. Let's revolutionize. Let's bring people to the presence of God. Have a wonderful Saturday. God bless you all.